Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here with my Nexus S 4G here to show you how to flash a kernel on your Nexus S 4G, specifically the Matrix kernel, uh, courtesy of fellow ACS member, friend of mine, MathKid95. Thanks to him. So this is actually this is the same method used whether you're on the Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. So either one this method is going to work i believe he has a kernel for both make sure you get the device specific kernel though don't uh, flash a nexus s4g kernel on your uh, actually I, I think they're cross compatible but just to be safe make sure you go to the proper forum um, anyways go ahead and click on the link in the description take it to the android creative syndicate forum as i said thanks to mathkid95 uh, go ahead and scroll down gives you information about the kernel what a kernel does is it actually handles uh, things having to do with the battery, um, also overclocking and underclocking. I'll show you guys how to overclock as well. Um, it's also with this with this kernel, it includes things called uh, black, black backlight notification, which means uh, if my screen's off, these backlights are going to light up if you get a text message or something. These bottom backlight keys, even when the screen's off, so you'll know since it, there's no LED light on our phones, this is a very nice feature to have. It also has blacklight dimmer, which uh, is going to dim the bottom keys after, I believe, 30 seconds or something like that. Just turn them off uh, so it's not wasting battery. Um, so it, it also includes two uh, versions as well. Um, there's a CFS and a BFS version, as you can see right here. Uh, I talked to MathKid. He said the CFS version is more uh, stable, and the BFS, BFS version, it's basically CFS runs better overall and is more solid, and the BFF uh, is per better performance-wise, but it also can... Uh, Sacrifice stability and battery life. So if you don't if you don't need a very stable phone and battery life isn't a matter to you Try the BFS you might get some better performance CFS is going to be more stable, but it's still great performance as well um, But anyways click on which one you want version 6.5 is the latest click on CFF or CFS or BFS click on Which one I'm going to download the CFS and flash the CFS one So once you have it downloaded it will be a zip file just transfer it over to your phone so plug your Nexus into your computer and transfer it over to your phone. And then once it's on your phone, go ahead and power off your device. <clears throat> and once your device is powered down, go ahead and hit the volume up and power button at the same time. That's going to boot you into the bootloader, like so. And you're going to need to go to Clockwork Mod Recovery. So then go down to Recovery and hit the power button. And then it'll reboot into Clockwork Mod, which is the latest 5.0.2.0. I do have videos if you need to upgrade your Clockwork Mod recovery. Um, and then all you have to do is go to Install Zip from SD Card, Volume Down, and then Power Button to Select, and then Choose Zip from SD Card, and then Navigate to the Kernel, Matrix CFS 6.5 Kernel. Uh, press it, and then hit Yes, Install. No need to wipe. Uh, this isn't going to wipe any data on your phone. It's just going to flash your kernel. Hit the hit the back arrow and then hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone. Uh, with kernels, it is with the Nexus uh, kernels are compatible with whatever ROM you're running. You're obviously going to need to be running a ROM uh, to flash a kernel. Uh, but just a heads up that uh, kernels do work whether on your you are on MIUI CM7 or an Android ROM. AOSP ROM, all of them are compatible with this kernel and any other kernel that you decide to flash for your device. But anyways, now that my phone's booted up, I am now running the Matrix kernel. I'm going to hit the Menu button, Settings button. I'm using Bugless Pete's ROM currently. I'm going to go to About Phone. And then, as you can see, kernel version uh, right here, at Matrix number 5. So, shows I'm running the Matrix kernel right there. It did flash properly. Uh, anyways, I'm going to now show you guys how to overclock your phone in case you, uh, you'd like to. Not all phones, each phone handles overclocking differently. If you do get reboots, then it probably has to do with your overclocking. So uh, with this ROM, I believe, it, yeah, you have CPU settings built in. If you don't have the CPU settings, uh, you're going to need to use the app Set CPU. That could be found in the market. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go to CPU settings, and then obviously you have minimum CPU frequency, 
and maximum CPU frequency. So right now it's set to 1000 megahertz, which is one gigahertz, which is the default. Um, you can overclock it to 1.4 gigahertz, 1.3, 1.2. You can underclock it to 800 or 600. Um, performance is gonna su suffer, but battery life is going to increase, obviously. So it's up to you. Overclocking is gonna decrease your battery life. Uh, underclocking is gonna increase your battery life, but it's what you need. You need to find your happy medium for speed and battery life. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hit 1400, and there you go. I'm now running at 1400 uh, megahertz my uh, CPU is. Um, I'm also not going to hit the, as you can see, I didn't check the set on boot option. I'm not going to do that until I know for sure my phone can handle the overclocking. So once I find, once I use it for a while, I m might run a couple benchmark tests on it just to make sure that, uh, that my phone is uh, able to handle 1.4 gigahertz. But other than that, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. Uh, all links will be in the description of the video. Feel, feel free to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video.